Well, in less than an hour, Nanaimo City Council is expected to announce that it supports demolition of the Colliery Dam. City engineers say the 100-year-old landmark has reached the end of its lifespan, and in a major earthquake, it would rupture, putting lives and property at risk. CTV's Chandler Grieve is following the story uh, just ahead of tonight's council meeting and joins us from Nanaimo with more on that. Chandler. Yes, Hudson, tonight's city council meeting here in Nanaimo will get going in just under half an hour. And one of the first things on the agenda is expected to be the removal of the colliery dam. Now, a city engineer told me today at the dam, the dam currently is stable. But if a major earthquake were to hit like the one off uh, Haida Gwaii over the weekend on the mid-island, well, the dam could fail, putting the hundreds of houses in the surrounding community of Harewood at risk. They'd be in a, a fair bit of trouble, and, and I think that's part of the, uh, the intent of the messaging that will be in front of Council tonight, and that will be delivered door to door in the residents of the, in the immediately affected area. Just in the, the, uh, the very unlikely chance that there's an earthquake between now and the time we can remove the dams, residents will have an idea of how to evacuate, where to evacuate, and where to go. The City Council was presented with three options, including restoration and replacement. In the end, they decided removing the dam was the safest and cheapest option. It will cost about $7 million the entire project. The project is also said to include the naturalization of the Chase River to replace the large body of water that they will remove. They know the decision might not be popular, but they say it's the right call. The intent is not that the, the use of the park will change. The, the park will remain a natural area for South Nanaimo. The trails may be enhanced or augmented, and certainly the intent is to maintain the, the trail system through the park. And this is really an opportunity to recapture the natural stream, natural ravine of the Chase River and restore the, the habitat that that was. Now, pending a sudden change of heart uh, from Council tonight, this seems like a done deal. And it will be interesting to see how the people of Nanaimo react to this news. Uh, it is a landmark. It is uh, one of the crown jewels of Nanaimo. A lot of people get married there, have tons of memories of walking around the dam. But uh, city and councillors say that it's uh, an upgrade that simply is long overdue, and they have to do it. Hudson? All right. Chandler Grieve in Nanaimo, and we'll watch the uh, council decision on that. Thank you.